Hi there, and uh, welcome to a uh, another edition of Video Games You Might Have Missed. I'm your host, Raymond King. Well, it's been a while since we've uh, last talked. I got a laptop here. This is pretty flippin' sweet. Well, we're not here to talk about my laptop. We're here to talk about video games. Now, what's the video game we're going to review today? I gotta tell you. This is the worst video game I've ever played, and I'm here to advise you never to play it. Ever. It is called... Iron Man 2. For the PlayStation 3. Oh, where can I even begin? It's the worst superhero game since Aquaman for the Nintendo uh, GameCube. And possibly the worst superhero game of all time since Superman 64. The game is super short. You could basically beat it in less than two hours. And, you know, it's quite complicated of a game. I'm going to tell you. I've never thought they could make something as worse as Iron Man 2. Not the movie. The movie was good. The game has nothing to do with the movie. This right here. It sucks bananas. It's terrible. Now, let me just read to you, you know, what it says on the back. It says, Suit up as Iron Man or War Machine. Well, that's a pretty interesting, you know, thing. Um, an all-new story that takes you beyond the movie. Iron Man brings... <sighs> I hate to read these. Iron Man brings unrivaled speed and agility. War Machine brings heavy artillery. You choose. Well, really, in the game, you don't have an option. Some modes you have to play as Iron Man, some modes you have to play as War Machine. It says, customize your weapon in Tony's lab. Powerful hand-to-hand -hand combat, which the hand-to-hand -hand combat really sucks, by the way. Um, fight skyscraper tall enemies. Come on, people. Who wants to fight anything that big? pretty, you know, it's challenging. I don't want to even get that it's beyond suckish. Devastating destruction. Not really. Uh, exclusive Lamb of God music track. It's okay, I guess. Uh, features voices of Don Shadell. I don't even think I said that right. Shedill? Shedill? Cheetle? I don't know. I'm not into this hip Hollywood names. And Samuel L. Mubba Jackson. You heard it here, folks. Samuel L. Mubba and Jackson. I like to say that. Samuel Jackson is a beast. Um, it's meant for one player. I've never played it online. I don't even. There's not even online play for this. Look at this. Okay? Here's the manual. Okay? I don't see anywhere in here about online play. I like to play games online. Favorite game to play online is the James Bond games, especially the new GoldenEye 007 Reloaded, which I'll be reviewing here uh, as soon as I can. I wonder why they put a notes thing in the back of here. Are you supposed to write your own notes? Or, you know, WTF? Okay, well, um, in this game, the enemy is basically the Russians. I know. Stupid. Because, why would the United States be angry at the Russians anymore? Cold War's over, folks. Get over it. Uh, you know, you got 
Nick Fury, Samuel L. Mubba and Jackson. Uh, you know, and the game is pretty repetitive. It is pretty repetitive. How repetitive? The enemies are almost the same every time you fight them. I mean, you can beat the game in a single sitting. You just sit down. You can play it and beat it in less than uh, two hours. Maybe. Depends. But, you know, this game's not worth getting. I picked this up. I, I, I go through these things where you, you know, I, I don't get games when they directly come out unless it's a game I really want. But, oh, and by the way, this does feature a trophy system. You get a trophy for basically completing a level or doing something friggin' amazing, I guess what you can call. But, if you're wanting to really boost your trophy system and say you have more trophies than your friend, this is a good game to get. But I picked this game up at a local Kmart. It was in the discount bin. Six bucks. I mean, I don't know what to say about this game. It's made by Sega, by the way, which we all know Sega went in under. Oh, by the way, I had I bought a uh, Sega Saturn since the last time we talked. Never owned one. I think it's freaking amazing. But uh, yeah, Iron Man 2, PlayStation 3. I guess you could say the same thing about the 360 versions and any other version they got out there. I don't know what they got. I just know it's for the PS3 and they have it for the 360 because my friend played it. This game, the worst game I've played. And on a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, I give it a 2.5. Yeah, you heard it here. Most suckish game ever. Mm -hmm. It's true. So, with that being said, I highly do not recommend this game. Highly don't. Unless you like blowing crap up. The only thing it's fun for is shooting missiles at buildings in this game. Not fun for anything else. Pretty suckish. And, you know, with that, I say, BAM! BAM! Yeah, that's how we do it. I looked the wrong way. Okay, I got some time. I looked the wrong way on that bird. Which way is that bird going? Okay, it's going that way. Okay, and that's going down. Anyway, do not play Iron Man 2, 2.5. If you see your friend selling this game, offer him one buck for it. And if he offers more than one buck, in the words of Cartman, tell him to heck about it. That didn't sound like Carmen, but you get the point. Just tell them to. No, I'm not paying more than a dollar for a game that sucks. Monkey balls. Or monkey bananas, either one. You censor it. Anyway, uh, next time. Uh, you know, I used to say at the end of my little show here that the next game we'll be reviewing, but I never know what I'll play. But, until next time, this has been your host, Brandon King, signing off. Remember, don't play Iron Man 2, 2.5 on my scale. I know some of you may have thought it was a good game, but it's not. The movie's better. The game has nothing to do with the movie. It has its own plot. It sucks. Monkey butt. Balls. Bananas. See ya.